Practice problem number two associated with sample problem F. I think I got these spectacular stories in here that are more confusing than they're worth. But let's get to the actual math part. A spy runs from the front to the back of an aircraft carrier at a velocity of 3.5 meters per second. If the aircraft carrier is moving forward at 18.0 meters per second, how fast does the spy appear running when viewed by an observer on a nearby stationary submarine? Can you picture it? Anywho. So uh, we have a couple of pieces of, of information. Uh, we have a velocity there. We have a velocity there. Uh, let's do it. So, um, again, relative motion problems. And so we're going to have a couple of velocities. Uh, what students get confused about is what are these little sub scripts going to be? Well, uh, the first one uh, that I'm given is the spy. Okay, velocity of the spy running from the front to back of the aircraft carrier. So it's the spy with respect to the aircraft carrier. So I'm going to go sub SA. And uh, now that is 3.5 meters per second. We have a second velocity. Uh, this is actually the velocity of the aircraft carrier. So I'm going to go sub A. With respect to what? What's the aircraft carrier on? Well, it's floating on water. So this is going to be the velocity of the aircraft carrier with respect to water. So that ends up being 18.3 meters per second. I guess you actually could do a uh, aircraft carrier with respect to stationary submarine. The only problem with that is uh, both of these start with S's and I already have an S for the spy. And so I don't want to use stationary submarine uh, uh, as my uh, frame of reference just because it's going to make my subscripts weird. Now, the stationary submarine is also floating in water, so that, I mean, we're safe, right? We're safe. Okay, uh, now looking at these values, I can, I can already see which one of these I want to be my negative vector. I'm going to choose the smaller of the two values. Because the aircraft carrier uh, is in fact moving in a particular direction, okay? Uh, let's just say it's moving in this direction. Uh, so velocity of the aircraft carrier with respect to water is 18.0 meters per second. And the spy uh, is running this way. So the velocity of the spy with respect to the aircraft carrier is uh, 3.5 meters per second. But it's in the opposite direction, so I need to I need to represent that. And so the reason that it, it's it's usually a good idea to make the smaller uh, the smaller value the negative vector is because even though the spy is trying to run direction, because the aircraft carrier is so faster than the spy, the spy is still overall moving in this direction. Okay. Uh, so let's represent that uh, mathematically. So we have the velocity uh, of the spy with respect to water, right? Because we're uh, talking about an observer on the stationary submarine floating in the water. So we'll go uh, velocity of the spy with respect to the water is going to be the sum of these two things, right? These two, these two uh, motions. So uh, velocity of the spy with respect to the aircraft carrier uh, plus the velocity of the aircraft carrier with respect to the water. So I can plug these values in. Negative 3.5 meters per second plus 18.0 meters per second. Uh, and that ends up uh, being, because math is hard, 14.5 meters per second and for those of you who are thinking oh the 3.5 that, that has two sig figs uh so the answer should have two sig figs no remember this is addition and when we're doing addition we consider how many decimal places there are 
Okay, and both of these have one decimal place, so my answer is going to have one decimal place. So it's, it's a little bit tricky there. So we have overall velocity, but what direction is the spy moving? Okay. Now again, the spy is running backwards, like the opposite direction of the aircraft carrier, but because the aircraft carrier is traveling faster than the spy, the spy is moving overall 14.5 meters per second in the direction that the aircraft carrier is moving. Um, this can come up with a simpler way to write in that direction. I'm totally cool with it. Uh, but you have to say that the spy is actually moving in the same direction as the aircraft carrier. Uh, just not quite as fast as the aircraft carrier because, again, the spy is actually running from the front to the back.